prices. Uh, I see that you have a prices for January 6th and all that other stuff. Like I said, pipelines before. Like, uh, all that is being done has been done already. In the previous past, it had led to certain things. And like I said, the people have voted. Majority of niggas got it. Whether you accept it or not. Why? Because one, they want what the nigga cracks is offering. Which is what I propose. Other than with this 18 cents tax cut to gas companies that buy them. Propose, I'm sorry, proposes. I propose um, eliminating uh, the student loan debts for the rest of the year. To see how that accumulates more income for Biden to do whatever he demands. Um, and more income on the other end that he wants. Um, eliminate more taxes for the rest of the year. So you can save to pay for next year's taxes. That's definitely what this This what they're all about. That's what they're all about. Listen to myself. The people ain't getting none of that. You know what I mean? What, what he basically doing there. And, and salute the uh, Valorant. Play now. YouTube and all that. Other uh, sponsors, man. Sponsors. You gotta have these things. But um, basically, he won. To get them 18 cents off every time you go to get a gallon of gas. And like I said, I knew that you can't bring out consumer pricing index because it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's booming. And, and they salute to the nigga credit campaign. Salute to it. Oh, and could you, um, I'm sorry, uh, not you, um. Supreme Court, which we not, it's not even Supreme Court. It is that lady that's doing the um, January 6th thing. She aiming for um, the governor's spot, but she can't get that spot, so she created this whole drama with the January 6th. Her and, her and um, uh, Biden, because um, they were working together right before the time of that. <laughs> so when Biden doesn't show up to explain why he's going after a previous president through her just remember Biden likes to use people as he used basically Obama to become the president because he was a vice president before under Obama but then he didn't Swickled and trickled the tricks of the trade and became, I guess, the sitting elect. <laughs> it's evil. Outrageous. And that's what I'm trying to say. New York leaders react to the U.S. Supreme Court rule. He, Biden using the Supreme Court to go out the state laws, but it's illegal because the previous president gave the states their own opportunities under the federal law. Which is actually how government is designed. The state has the opportunity to create its own laws. Under the jurisdiction of the federal government. But Biden wants to demand a Supreme Court justice, which is not a federal court justice. And you got to go to federal Biden, stop slipping and sliding. And could you leave that New York? female governor alone, please. She's doing her job politically. And to try to overwrite it, ah, like I said before, man, you gotta relax and get to the business of bringing uh, a satisfactory to America. Because she is upset. January 6th, January 6th, federal agents search home of Trump Justice Department. See, see, you out, you outlandishly stepping outside of your uh, political boundaries. You going after um, political rivalries in a way that's unjustified under the federal law. And like I said, you wanted New York to get rid of it, 
because you want them to carry it close enough to each other that somebody can touch that thing. You don't want to, you don't want that. You need to relax, man. Relax, and then you gotta, and then you, then you selling it as much as you possibly can to them guns, because you wanna, you know, inflict this. I don't know what you, what you, what you trying to inflict, but it seems to be unruly in the eyes of democracy. <laughs> use a, use a Democrat going at the Republicans. That's not democratic. Remember. You got freedom under the democracy. Uh, that's why it's called Democrat. Like I said, you want to fight, it's just not right. I know Republicans did take a few shots at you, you know what I mean? But like I said, you got to turn the other cheek, man, and become more democratic. Or you can come on over to the nigga credit side. And that's no offense to any derogatory um, terms on this uh, YouTube guidelines and all. It's just a campaign slogan from a previous um, administration of democracy. <laughs> you had the freedom to say whatever you like. No discriminative acts over this way. In any um, civil or uh, superior uh, atmosphere, <laughs> this is Earth. I ask you to seek um, in Gil Gills and Maxwell, the um, at the uh, what was his name, the guy. It's still on old previous news, man. You gotta let it go, man. You gotta let it go. Government to cancel six billion in student loan. Nah. To, for defrauded borrowers. Nah, man. Like I said, why bring up indegratory words like defrauded borrowers? No one can borrow a student loan fraudulently. Unless... The federal government allows it. This is what I'm trying to tell you, Joe. You 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 not using your federal powers. You 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 down there messing with the states, screwing them up, and they trying to follow you because they think that you have some leadership over them. But actually, you work for the state. That's why they infused you as this so-called. I mean, they didn't infuse you. My bad. They infused me, but. Your political parties want to allow it after 40 um, years of um, stability under your, um, what you call it, watch. Now, there seems to be a new uh, watching party underneath that. I call it the NBI, Nigga Credit Bureau of Investigations. Established by um, yours truly, by the way. Because you don't want to use that. Like you said, you used it against a previous president, but can you get it used against you? <laughs> you see, this is what I mean by the democracy then. You you you, you wanna throw things at the Republicans, but when they throw it back at you, you can't handle it. And so it is what it is. We're going to continue up this uphill battle, I see. Instead of coming on the way to the nigga credit campaign group, we're going to cut taxes for the rest of the year. But we're going to give out the free schooling for the rest of the year. To all students of all ages. To save enough money to pay for uh, the future income tax plan. Senate clears major, major hurdle towards passing gun safety bill. Salute to that, man. A salute to the red flag laws. A lot of people don't understand what it's about, but it's basically saying that you have to register. And, you know, 
justify what it's going to be around this so-called tool of weaponry. Because that's what the gun is. It's a tool of weaponry. And like I said, anything can be used as such. <laughs> Under the federal laws of uh, jurisdictions. Why Biden can't bring gas prices down? Because he don't own the gas station. When he inflated the prices of uh, produces and all this other stuff, they thought he was sending a punch of um, a, a knockout power, which he, yeah, like I said, there's a, there's a lot of things under strain under power too, by the way, y'all. And the power plants ain't producing enough for them storms that hit over there in the, um, what is it called? What is it called? We need to save this a conscience. <laughs> Supreme Court says GOP lawmakers can't intervene to defend North Carolina voting ID law. Exactly. Because like I said, the states have their rights, man. Like you like we said, if you do that with that, you can travel with that thing and not have it registered and all this other stuff and then you be the rich with somebody getting getting a hold of that thing. And you don't want that, y'all. Trust me. My life ministry, that's why I'm here. To save the world. The gas price ain't coming down. The price ain't coming down. Joe Biden has decided to go rogue. Do this pipeline dreams. And a bunch of other things that he deemed suitable for the previous past that he wants to bring into 2022. And beyond, I'm telling you, man, we got electrical vehicles that's getting outpriced by gasoline vehicles because no one can afford it. So, you can paint this picture as broad as you like. <laughs> I'm here to correct your flaws, man, in a way, so the people can understand that you want to take them backwards instead of forwards while showing them forward activity. Good luck with that, Joe. I'm going to scratch a little vinyl. <laughs> and look for some memorabilia to prove a point to, I guess, someone that's been in politics for 40 years. Plus years. <sighs> I see that we can possibly do more. But. No one wants to take. The negative approach yet. So we'll be. With that being said. Peace. I gotta go.